All right, my friends, welcome to yet another YouTube studio tour. Things have changed since I showed you last and I wanna give you some of these updates. What we're doing is making this a dedicated content creation space. So as you'll notice in the background, there's no more couch, there's no more painting. This is just content creation. So let me show you around. First off, we have this talking head section. You'll recognize this from all of my YouTube videos. And again, the, the main thing here is just to create, reduce the friction so that it's easier to create content. So of course sit here at my standard Ikea table and um, what I'll actually do is work on the script right here and shout out to LG for sending me this monitor. I'll actually have the model name and link down in the description. But I'll be doing my stuff here with the dual screen because you know productivity, hashtag. And then the cool thing is that when I'm actually ready to record, I'll put this into clamshell mode, move it to the side and then have the monitor swing around like this because I got that fancy LG Ergo arm and then I still have my trackpad right here and I'll look at the camera and then if I need to refer to my notes I'll do so here and then scroll bam and the way that this monitor is now set up it's completely out of frame from the camera I think that's super cool well the other cool thing about this monitor is that it powers like my laptop is charging right now through the single USB-C as well as giving display all about that neat and tidiness. So back here, we of course have fake plants because real plants are too high maintenance and I ain't about that life. I'm also trying to add some like spice and personality to the backdrop. So of course I have my Schecter Diamond Series bass that if I'm being honest, don't really play that much anymore. Got of course the Med School Insiders one mil plaque. So thank you guys for that because uh, would not have this without you, like literally. And I'm gonna have a shelving unit of some type back here to show off more of my personality. And since my personality is just tea and cars these days, maybe some like tea paraphernalia and some like model cars or like racing helmets and stuff like that. But if you guys have any other ideas to make this backdrop more interesting, then please do leave a comment. I'll always love your guys' suggestions. Now as for the lighting, this is mostly the same. This is the Aperture C120D Mark II with the light dome. This is my main light. As for the audio, I'm using this Sennheiser shotgun mic. I'm gonna have a link to this and all the other items down in the description. And it hooks into this, the Zoom H6 recorder. The reason I've done this versus using my lab mic that I'm using for this video and for my previous YouTube videos is that number one, it's better quality. This is like a nicer audio system, but also it reduces friction. So if I'm able to just sit down and hit record, hit record, don't need to wire, you know, a mic, down my shirt and stuff like that. It just, again, reduces the friction because I wanna make it easier to create content. And now on to the charging station. Got this little Alex shelving unit from Ikea. Pretty standard stuff, charging all my various batteries. And then in here I have all my camera gear. Um, everything from lenses to microphones and all that jazz. So as for the cameras, we have the Sony a7S III with the 50 millimeter 1.4 Zeiss lens and the a6400 with the 24 to 70 G master lens. Same setup I was using before, and of course links to everything down in the description. The cool thing is that these are pointing to the talking head, right? But again, minimizing friction. So you just turn these around and then bam, you have the podcasting setup right behind. So the podcasting setup. Yes, I know I've been talking about podcasting for like two years now, but it's finally coming. So again, we have a standard Ikea desk. We got the fake succulents because real succulents are still too much work for me. And um, you know, going all out with the Shure SM7B mics. I haven't mounted them yet because I got these, these two microphone arms, which are great, but I need to drill into the table to actually install them. And then the other thing, as you'll notice, is I have another LG monitor. Shout out to them for sending this my way. And what I'm planning on doing, I got this idea from Peter Atia's podcast. I'm gonna sit here and then video chat, you know, Zoom call, whatever, the guest and I'll have the camera over my shoulder. And in doing so, it actually gives it a more personal, kind of more real life feel in a way versus just having their video chat show up on the screen, if that makes sense. So when I do have a guest over, I'll either you know, move this out of the way, have them sit there or just remove the, the monitor entirely from, from the desk. But that's the setup. This is the new and improved YouTube slash content creator studio. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can further improve it, things to just look out for, please do leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.